Hey, Alec. Hey, Larry. Don't you just hate driving to work and wasting gas by sitting in morning traffic? Yeah, it stinks. Do you know how much I spent on gas yesterday? 54 bucks. Dude, that's a lot, but I just spent $63 last night. I wish there was a way to save money and not pollute our environment as much. Sorry I was eavesdropping, but I couldn't resist overhearing your conversation. It's fine. We were just wondering if there's a way to save money and gas and still have plenty of space in our car. There is a way. It's called a smart car. Huh? A smart car? Does a car have a brain or what? No, it doesn't have a brain, you fool. It drives for you. You're both wrong. A smart car doesn't drive for you or have a brain. It has a computer inside that predicts traffic flow ahead and speeds up and slows down at the right time so it saves gas and pollutes less. Yeah, well, I bet it costs like a hundred grand. Actually, the smart car isn't a car. It's a device that you install in any car you wish. It doesn't cost as much as you'd think. It only costs about $2,000. $2,000? I can't afford that. Yeah, we got our house, our car, and of course our bills that drain our money. Well, I got other solutions. Try to drive less. How far away do you guys work? I work about 10 blocks away from my house. Well, we work at the same place, and I live two houses down from Larry, so 10 blocks. Well then, you guys could carpool, walk, bike, or take the bus. John, you're a genius. Well, I bet you don't know this. The average car in the U.S. spews out about 10,000 pounds of carbon dioxide from its tailpipe each year. I actually didn't. Well, thanks, John, for that great information. Sure thing. Rem so remember to drive less or... Go out and buy a smart car today.